Yay! We didn't even tell Kyle. I didn't know what yeah. was going on. <laughs> so it appears that this Fatal Frame game here for the original Xbox was part of someone's order and it accidentally got shipped out while this was in the resurfacing machine. So if that was you, please contact us. We unfortunately can't look up an order by the items in the order, so I have no idea who this was. If it was you, please email us. Kyle's working on a trade-in right now. Yep. A pretty crazy one. Yeah. I'm not going to show you guys everything, but... I'm going to show you a sneak preview. <laughs> the two most expensive games so far. Nice. Yeah. Check out the... <clears throat> check out the little sneak peek. Hopefully we end up getting it, but if not, then you guys just get to be sad. <laughs> yeah. I hope you guys are ready for this one, because this is going to be an extremely trade-heavy video. We got some really amazing stuff in today, so there's going to be multiple clips of trades all throughout today's vlog. If you want to see them, make sure you stick around and watch the whole thing. So, first up here, we have a couple little mother... I don't even know what to call these. It's like a little cleaning cloth thing on the back, and then it's got some artwork on the front. Um, Japanese import items, I don't know. <laughs> we couldn't find them, we just priced them at the same price we have all the little charms and stuff at, so hopefully someone's interested. Got a couple of Amiibo here, King DDD and Inkling Boy. And we have a couple more here. This one is opened, uh, but we have the other King DDD and Meta Knight. We have the Doom Guy collectibles. It's articulated with sound. Very, very expensive. If this doesn't, doesn't sell, Pretty, pretty soon, then we're probably gonna put it on eBay. This is one of the coolest things. This is a Mega Man base figure, all brand new. We also have an Earthworm Jim figure, which is super awesome, and a Bowser Jr. We have this Zekrom Pokemon figure. We have the Super Nintendo Classic, and then we have some handheld games here. A couple of cool ones in here, some imports, Pokemon. Just some cool stuff overall. And that's everything for the first batch, but there's a lot more to come. And, and what? We put more of these in the system. Those are not new. But they were put in. A bunch of sealed copies of The Evil Within, which came from the Closet of Doom. Oh, oh hey, I didn't see there. Uh, do you guys know about the NES Max controller? These things are, are pretty cool looking. Um, it's actually kind of comfortable because you have little grips and in the back you have little indents for your fingers. Unfortunately, it doesn't really work as well as it looks like it would. It looks like it would work like a circle pad on the 3DS. But unfortunately, you can't just like do that. You have to press down for it to register and it doesn't work that well, unfortunately. But I want to know what is your favorite controller ever made? What you doing, Ryan? Looking for a game cube. Uh-oh. I can't find it. Where has it gone? I don't know. Let's find it. Kyle? What? Where has it gone? What? You need to look for the blue paw prints. That's how we get our clues. <laughs> no. There's <laughs> clues, but blue's clues. Do you remember British accent? <laughs> we, that's what we started with, so. We started with accents. But now we're not doing them because you ruined it. Thanks, Kyle. <laughs> I'm fine with that. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> you know where this uh, GameCube went? The purple one? That was the extra sticker, I think. Oh, <gasps> oh Abby! Cool. We already boxed it. It must. This one doesn't have a serial yeah, number. So that one's trash. On Yay! Put it on the floor. Happy birthday to the ground! All right. This is something that I'm potentially buying. Um, we weren't inter interested in it for the store, I guess, before and didn't have the power cable and I was interested in it. He brought the power cable back and so dropped it off for me to test and everything. So um, let's, let's try to get this to, to work. Um, I don't know how. Oh. <laughs> is it set to channel three on the... Does the, does the Super Nintendo have the little channel switch like the NES? I don't know. This is three right there. I don't know, what... I don't know how it works. It looks so cool though. <laughs> uh, you have it all plugged in? Yeah. Are you sure? I think. The RF? That's where the RF goes, right? I can't see. <laughs> it's kind of cool. It has this like, 
kickstand thing that pops up to like <laughs> put it at the proper angle. It is missing like a little foot on the back, unfortunately. But it also has stuff for the hue, color, brightness, and it has the. Um, I mean, that's where you would plug it in. The degauze thing or whatever. I don't Maybe know. Or, that's also a thing for a car battery, too. <laughs> we'll show you once we get it working. Yeah. More trade-ins. We have Minecraft for PS4, Dragon Ball Fighter Z, Madden 15, Star Wars Battlefront, Call of Duty Black Ops, Mad World, Facebreaker KO Party, Kawasaki Jet Ski, Super Smash Brawl, Pool Party, Lego Batman, uh, Go Diego, Great Dinosaur Rescue, The Incredible Hulk, Epic Mickey, Hasbro Family Game Night. And then we have Mortal Kombat 3. Oh, that needs to come off. That's not our tag. And we'll get that off later. Sim City, Frogger, Devil May Cry 2. Whoa. Mark Echo's Getting Up, Mortal Kombat, Mortal Kombat 2, Need for Speed Underground 2, uh, NFL Street 2, Unleashed, NBA 07, NBA 06, Peter Jackson's King Kong, Burnout 3 Takedown, Tony Hawk's Project 8, Need for Speed Carbon, Need for Speed Most Wanted. We have some soundtracks here. Mother 2, Super Smash, Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles, Mass Effect, Devil May Cry 4, and Kingdom Hearts 10th Anniversary Fan Selection. And we have some DVDs here. Uh, Sergeant Frog Season 3, Season 2, and Season 1. And then Devil May Cry, the animated series, the complete collection. And then Initial D, First Stage. Then we have this Metal Storm Collector's Edition. This is the retro bit uh, NES game. And I'm not going to take it all off. There's like a little statue and stuff in there of like the mech. There's what it comes with. And then we have, uh, I believe that this is Wild Gunman for the Famicom. And it's complete in box. It's not cheap, but the box is pretty rough. But look at the gun. <laughs> it looks like an actual gun. It's got a holster and everything. And then there's the adapter, um, I guess, to use it with the with the NES. So pretty cool. Yeah, it's got a weird plug on there. So really awesome. And then we have some Switch games here. Pikmin 3, Just Dance 2021, uh, Super Mario 3D World and Bowser's Fury, new Pokemon Snap, and Trials of Mana. Mean Dad Part 7. Hey, what are you doing? Hey, I want to get the red guitar. Red guitar. I love the red guitar. We don't even have a PS2. Red guitar. Hey, I told you not to touch anything. Star. Star. Give it to me. No. Give it to me. No. No. Shout out to John Ebo. He's a fellow YouTuber who placed an order for a mystery box and the Splatoon 2 Pro Controller. Um, he's going to do unboxing of this order on his TikTok, so go check him out. So we got it working for the most part, but it's still like really fuzzy. And the color is like... We got it to not be fuzzy, but we, we moved it and now it's fuzzy again. <laughs> and the colors keep going like in and out. Mm -hmm. You can... It's really hard to see on camera. You can see it kind of blinking. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Do you, you guys think I should buy it from him or not? I mean, I mean, for an old TV, this probably works as like as good as it's gonna get. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's really cool. It looks really like retro and everything, but with how touchy it is, I don't know if I want to pay much for it. Yeah, I probably would wait for a better one. He died. Four more stacks of trades here. We're start, gonna start over here with the movies. We have Alien Trilogy VHS set. Uh, As the Gods Will, Donnie Darko, The League of Extraordinary Gentlemen, uh, what does that say? Doberman Cop, Edward Scissorhands, Pulp Fiction, Goodwill Hunting, Gran Torino, uh, Ralph Breaks the Internet. I haven't seen that one. 
Weekend at Bernie's. That's a good movie. Wreck It Ralph. Body Melt. Star Wars. Uh, Clone Wars Lost Missions. And Final Fantasy VII Advent Children Complete. It's kind of cool. Then we have Namco Museum. Genesis Collection. Vice City. Final Fantasy X. Rampage Total Destruction. Fallout 76. Borderlands 3. Borderlands Handsome Collection. Apex Legends. Uh, Desti Destiny Steelbook. Uh, Pokemon Black version. And Red Ninja End of Honor. No manual. That's why it's kind of cheap. And then Ocarina of Time 3D. Pokemon Sun. Alpha Sapphire. Super Mario Galaxy. Spider-Man. Guitar Hero World Tour. Pokemon Battle Revolution. Sonic Heroes. Harry Potter, Prisoner of Azkaban, Twisted Metal 2, Spyro, Ripto's Rage. I'm pretty sure these two were loose and we had cases for them. Uh, Grand Theft Auto, Liberty City Stories. Oh, we have a battleship. Tags are in here somewhere. And then Godzilla, <laughs> loose for GameCube. Uh, Super Mario 3D Land. Super Monkey Ball, Step and Roll. WCW Nitro. Call of Duty Vanguard. Ratchet and Clank, Going Commando. Animal Planet Vet Life and Link's Crossbow Training. And then Lego Marvel Avengers, Happy Feet, Wheel of Fortune, Jeopardy, Truck Racer. <laughs> that looks so generic, I've never seen that one. Um, Assassin's Creed Black Flag, Al Monsters vs. Aliens, Pheasants Forever Wing Shooter, never seen that one either. Uh, 007, I don't know why the tag is on the side like that, but probably just because that one needs to come off. Uh, Guilty Party, my Sim Sky Heroes, Ultimate I Spy, Celebrity Sports Showdown, Family Party, 30 Great Games, Myth Makers, Super Kart GP, Sonic and the Secret Rings, Call of Duty Ghosts, Black Ops 2, and Carnival Games. So, don't bully me in the comments, but uh, I got another uh, interesting staff pick today, and that is uh, Go Diego Go, the Great Ryan the Great Dinosaur Rescue. <laughs> Um, believe it or not, it's actually a decent game, and I streamed it like three years ago, and it was a ton of fun to stream, so just check out this footage. What the frick? Sorry guys, I got a little heated it's there. It's just the type of leafy frog that the iguana does. Oh, yes. Whoa, that was intense, guys. Mm. There's secrets over here? Mm. Oh, like a secret. Hi, Diego. Ah. Oh, my pole was back. Off. All right, guys, we have two more clips of trades to show you. The last one is going to be the really, really crazy one. So, first up, we have some books here, uh, some manga. Once upon a time, something, something, something. I don't even know what that says. I'm not going to try. Good night, pun, pun. Uh, Mobile Suit Gundam, The Origin. Then we have a Crystal Chronicles Strategy Guide. Then we have Age of Empires, Brain Age 2, Brain Age 1, Scribble Knots, Carnival Games, Boogie, Crosswords DS, FIFA 18, Fallout 76, Disney Infinity 2.0, Pandemonium, Batman Arkham Asylum, Plants vs. Zombies, Borderlands Game of the Year, Call of Duty Black Ops, Sonic and the Secret Rings, Driver San Francisco, but it's a, an import, uh, Advance Wars Dual Strike, Two Human, uh, Pro Evolution Soccer 2012, Star Wars Clone Wars, Tetris Worlds Combo, King Kong, Mass Effect, Dead Island Riptide, Cabela's Survival, and Earthfall Deluxe Edition. Then we got another one of the Animal Crossing Switches. Uh, pretty cool. And then we have Pokemon Sun, a loose copy. We have Bioshock for Switch, Hamtaro, Ham Ham Heartbreak, Crash of the Titans, and then Pokemon X, Animal Crossing uh, New Leaf, the Amiibo version, 
Uh, hotel desk, room 215. Actually, I think this is the wrong price. I think it's supposed to be 25. I think all the other ones we have are priced at 25. I'll double check after. Uh, the Garden of Words Blu-ray. When, what does that say? When Marnie was there. Zelda Breath of the Wild. Wario World. Oh, it's sticky right there. Do you see it? It's like, it's like sticker residue, but still. Red Dead Revolver. SSX3. Cars. Lego Star Wars 2. It's Lego Star Wars 1. Tony Hawk's American Wasteland. Resident Evil 4. Kingdom Hearts 2. And then we have some N64 games. NBA Hang Time, super yellowed. Power Rangers Lightspeed Rescue. Uh, Konami, some soccer game, Japanese import. And then Wayne Gretzky 3D Hockey. Madden 2000. NBA Jam 2000. Uh, Wiley Country Club Golf. And then, this is not a new trade-in, but it's available again, and that is Chrono Trigger. So... This one has that little nick on the label up there, but other than that, it's pretty nice. Got that little rip on the back. This was traded in, and it was immediately put on hold by the person that traded it in. They have not come to pick it up, and they were supposed to come back in just a couple days. It's been almost two weeks now, so it's available again, and it is back on the website. All right, what'd you get? Okay, so I got three things today. Um, I'm most excited for this, which is just a Hell Kitty cover. It's pretty crazy that I got traded in, though. It's from Europe. It is, and it was... I'm pretty sure it was sealed and everything. Um, Adam opened it because he's going to take the like the seal and everything. I just want the cover plates to put on the system. And then I got this, which isn't like super exciting, um, but it's, it's pretty cool. And then this one, which is kind of more exciting because it's pretty uncommon, and it's Wizard of Oz. Uh, this game is like a $75 to $85 game, just depending on the time. Um, I don't know why it's so expensive. I know it's an X seed title and that probably helps with what it's worth, but, um, oh, and another thing is like, it's not based on any specific Wizard of Oz. So it's not based on a movie. It's not based on the book. It's just in general Wizard of Oz. So I think that's kind of why. Christine placed an order on our website and wants us to film it. So let's get it pulled and shipped. They ordered a poster. There's lots of different posters available and I think we only have one left this one, the Breath of the Wild view poster. They also ordered Super Monkey Ball Mania for Nintendo Switch. Christina, your order is ready to ship out. It will be in two different packages, of course, because the poster has to ship separately from the game. But your orders are ready to ship. Enjoy. So unfortunately, that Godzilla from earlier, um, we re resurfaced it, and it's not working. So what? that's not available. But we are going to add in... Oh, where they go? What are you talking about? The Godzilla. No! But we have these loose discs that were just sitting there. So we have Pokemon Coliseum, Thousand Year Door, Thousand Year Door, Hit and Run, and Hit and Run. Those will be available as disc onlys and they are tested. Just want to show you guys the prices on these. They are insane, but that is what they're going for. So they are available now if you just wanted to play the game and don't need the cases for them. This is it! The moment you've been waiting for! The collection of all collections! Here it is. Was that good, Adam? I like the energy. All right, guys, this is it. We have, this all came from one person. We have Gauntlet Dark Legacy. Dot hack mutation part two. Everything is in order of price, by the way, but it's each stack is in order of price. Dot hack mutation, Fantasy Star Online episodes one and two, Super Smash Bros. Melee, Silent Hill 2, Mr. Mosquito, and Go Go Hyper Grind, but don't get too excited. It's technically disc only. This is a printed cover. 
and there's no manual. But still, pretty rare GameCube game. Moving on, we have Darkstone, Crash Bandicoot Warped, Pac-Man World, Crash Team Racing, Crash Bandicoot 2, Crash Bandicoot, Mega Man X5. This was a loose copy, but we had a case for it. Um, actually, Gauntlet was also loose, but we had the case. Twisted Metal 2, Nightmare Creatures 2, Ape Escape, Resident Evil 2, Resident Evil Code Veronica, Resident Evil 3, Final Fantasy Tactics Black Label, Draconis Cult of the Worm, and Skies of Arcadia. Awesome game. Moving on, Final Fantasy Tactics War of the Lions, Soul Calibur Broken Destiny, couple 32X games here, Cosmic Carnage, Mortal Kombat 2, and Calibri. We sold a complete copy of this at the Portland Retro Swap last month. And then we have some long box PS1 games, Ridge Racer, PGA Tour 96, The Need for Speed, and Doom. We just sold one of these like yesterday. <laughs> so we have another one. Sega CD games, Echo the Tides of Time, the Software Toolworks Star Wars Chess, The Amazing Spider-Man vs. The Kingpin, and Sonic CD. Pretty good. Pretty good. And then we have a big stack of Sega Saturn games here. We have Thunder Strike with some writing on the front, unfortunately. If you see a little tag like that on the back of it, it means it's on somebody's wish list, so they might not be available. But they are on the website right now. Resurrection Rise 2. Daytona USA, Virtua Racing, Bust a Move 2 Arcade Edition, Battle Arena Toshinden Remix, Solar Eclipse, SimCity 2000, Black Dawn, Tomb Raider, Fighting Vipers, The Need for Speed, Virtua Cop, Romance of the Three Kingdoms 4 Wall of Fire, Sonic 3D Blast, and... Virtua Cop 2. <laughs> I don't know why that's the most expensive one. All right, on to the Genesis. We have Fantasia, Shadow Dancer, Secret of Shinobi, Dino Land, Wonder Boy in Monster World, Pirates Gold, Ghostbusters, Rolling Thunder 3, and you guys saw it earlier, but Zero, the Kamikaze Squirrel. This does not have a manual, which is why, um, and then it's also in kind of rough condition. Uh, but this is normally completes like a $500 game, so, uh, but that's why. But this one is really, really nice. Fully complete. Very, very clean. Look at that label. It's like perfect. And then the last stack, starting off with NES, we have Dig Dug 2. And we actually sold one of these um, either last night or this morning for like an online order, and we couldn't find it. Um, unfortunately, that order has already shipped. So if you happened to have been the person that bought that and you still want it, we did get another one today. And then we have the Blue Marlin. Cool World for the Super Nintendo. I have a sealed copy of this at home that I'm going to be selling at some point. Rainbow Islands. The original Donkey Kong arcade game. G.I. Joe. The Atlantis Factor. Batman Return of the Joker. I mentioned this last time we got one of these, but the label always has like this glue seeping through. It's just, they're all like that. Uh, the Lone Ranger, pretty uncommon one. And then we have the full set of Mario Party e-reader cards. <clears throat> Excuse me. Which is kind of cool. We actually have a loose set right there. It's got the manual and all the cards, but there it is with the box and everything. And then lastly, you probably saw it peeking out. We got Zelda, the Wand of Gamelon for the Philips CDI. So just in case you guys didn't know, there are a couple Zelda games on the CDI, which is really, really weird because it's like one of the one times where Nintendo, you know, licensed out one of their first party games for basically a competitor's console. So super weird. All the Zelda games that are on the CDI and the Mario ones are horrible, but they're very, very rare, and people are always looking for them just because of how weird they are. So this one is complete. It's got the slip cover and everything. So that is really, really cool to see. First time we've ever had this in stock. What? What? 
What? What's going on? You're supposed to say up. Oh, what up? <laughs> Dang it, Ryan. <laughs> All right, guys, it's about time for us to be heading out. We got Adam and Abby here. Yeah. And it's time to leave. So this is going to be basically part two from from yesterday's uh, question of the day. This is what I originally thought the comment said. So, what is your favorite movie or TV show based video game? So, yesterday it was, what's your favorite movie or TV show based on a video game? But I misinterpreted that when I first read it. So, for me, it's an easy choice. It's Cars 3 for the Wii U. Very, very fun game, kind of like Mario Kart. What about you? Favorite game Don't based. say go, yeah. Diego, go. <laughs> I'm not. Your favorite video <laughs> game <my> <laughs> <stuff>. <laughs> based on a movie or a TV show? Um, I guess it would be the Lego Star Wars one because that's what I'm playing right now and it's really good and it's based on nine movies, so. Abby? And we also well, sold out today. Favorite video game based on a movie or TV show? I play like five games. You can't ask me that. Okay, Witcher, even though Witcher came out before <laughs> the freaking show. So that's that's awesome. That was yesterday's answer for yesterday's question then. Right? Did you like... Yesterday's question was, what's your favorite movie or TV show based on a game? Do you Did you like The Witcher show more, or did you like the Castlevania anime more? What? Did you like The Witcher show more, or the Castlevania I didn't anime more? I either one of those. Yeah, that's complicated. No, it's not. It's, which one did you like more, one or two? Uh, Whatever, it doesn't matter. Let us know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you again tomorrow.